In this video, I'll cover the process of displaying stair details for tread overhang, rails and balusters, stringers, directional arrows, and the stair brake lines. Let's begin by looking at the layers available for stair details. In this sample plan that I have for stairs, as I click on the stair object in the active layer display option panel, you'll see all of the available layers that you can turn on for your stairs. Let's begin with the bottom and turn off the arrow display. When I remove the check mark, you'll see the arrow display is turned off. For the stringers, I have a stringer on this set of straight stairs. Turn off the display of the stringer. And then for the stair and ramp details, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see these details. You can see the tread overhang. The dashed line represents the riser, while the solid line will represent the overhang. As I turn off the layer for the stair details, you can see the effect of turning off that layer. As I zoom back out, you may use this type of view for more of a floor plan brochure look without the level of details. I'm going to go back over and turn all three of those layers back on. And I'm going to double click on the stairs to open up the stair specification. On the arrow panel, there is additional control for your arrow. You can include or exclude the arrow in the stair dialog. You can control the color fill for your arrow. You can control the size of your arrow. As I move up the dialog, let's take a look at the fill style. Currently these stairs have a solid fill with a 50% transparency. If I move something underneath the stairs, you'll be able to see exactly what that object is. Let's close the panel. I'm going to grab a piece of furniture that I have off to the side over here. I'm going to slide this underneath the stairs and you can see, since the stairs have a transparent fill, you can see underneath of the stairs and what that object may be. Let's go ahead and pull that back over. And go back in and take a look at another setting for brake lines on your stairs. On the brake line panel for your stairs, the option to include the brake line gives you the ability to change what style you want for your brake line, the distance for the start. You can also modify this directly in the floor plan view after you've displayed the brake line, the angle, the gap, if you want to have a double brake line, and then the brake line symbol, and then a few options for the current floor and the floor above for how to display the brake line. When you want to display your railing and your newels and balusters in the floor plan view. Let's go over onto the newels and balusters. Toward the bottom of this panel is the plan display. Currently it is using the defaults. If you've started with a template plan, it will use those defaults. Let's go ahead and uncheck use defaults and I'm going to draw the newels and balusters. Since this is a top-down view, you might check the fill style and make sure that there is a fill style. The rails are on top. If that's a solid color, be sure that there is some transparency so you can see these items below. On the actual railing, I'm going to change this to be balusters so we can see those balusters in the view. So with these settings, let's go ahead and take a look. Let me press the spacebar and deselect. You can see the display of the balusters and the rail, the brake line that we added. This brake line, again, I mentioned it can be adjustable. Click on it, move it where you want. Let's take a look at placing a railing on the wall and displaying the railing at the wall with a return at the bottom. Back into the stair dialog and on the railing panel, I'm going to make sure that there is a railing on the wall on the right side see the preview of it. I'm going to come down to the rails panel and for this top rail I'm going to come down and I'm going to put a return at the bottom. There's also the option to put a return at the top and now you can see the railing detail at the bottom of your stairs with the return. For winder stairs you can display the walk line. Let's go ahead and fill our screen. In this set of winder stairs I'm going to double click open up the stair dialog on the style panel down below the winder information, you can turn off the display of the walk line. To learn more about stairs, see our built-in help system and our other videos. Thanks for watching.